So I just left the gym, got a good pump in, <sighs> feeling swole. No uh, protein shakes, only chicken wings, beer, and pizza and stuff like that, you know. And uh, feel good, man. It's been like two weeks since I was able to hit the gym because my, my family was out on a cruise. I didn't have no babysitter. But um, we're about to leave. I'm about to leave here. I'm going to my mama's house, and she's going to tell y'all a story about when she saw a demon walking with me. So let's go ahead down to the mama's house and see what she's talking about today. Let's get up here and see what the mama talking about. Madre, before I let my mom tell y'all the story, check out this board, man. I've been selling quite a bit of these boards right here. I haven't epoxied it yet, but uh, check it out. It's like a kind of like that uh, painting that guy did. You can't really tell of all the detail until it's epoxied of uh, Endless Summer kind of look. Someone paid $274 for this puppy. Going to New York. And I'll show you a finished product of one right now. Hold on. You saw how dull it looked. Go we'll check it out what it looks like after I put the epoxy on. Special kind of epoxy. Check it out. Look at the shine on that puppy. It really makes those colors stand out. This one, the old lockdown board. That one still hasn't sold yet. I'm waiting for that one to sell. But uh, I haven't been on my art thing too much lately. These boards are pretty sweet, man. And check this out. Taking this baby home with me when I leave because it's almost time to get on that surf and grind. WRV Jank. This is a surf brand out here in Virginia Beach. Everyone usually buys these boards. They're made out here uh, called WRVs, Wave Riding Vehicles. Beautiful boards. This is called a generator. I was actually thinking about airbrushing some things on it. Great board, man. Great board. 510. Can't wait to crack this puppy open again. Take this downstairs and get it ready for transport to the death compound. Beautiful boy. Black and white all day, you know the drill. All right, mama. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, hold on. She was telling me this story this morning, as a matter of fact, and I said, it's funny you're talking about it because, um, I, was, I told the people a story about it, so let's go ahead. And, there was one difference that I didn't remember that she said. She said I had a friend with me at the time, but uh, I let her, and I thought it was just me, but I let her go ahead and tell the story. Uh, we had gone through a lot with you, and the time that we went through a lot with you, I used to say to you, um, I was heartbroken watching you do all this stuff because you you have beautiful green yellowish eyes and the color of your eyes had left you completely they were black and I knew something was wrong um, they were probably dilated from drugs from the drugs and all of that <laughs> so I, I just pray 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 and one night you came home but you rushed out to go outside and you know mothers are nosy um, I've always been a nosy mother when yes, it came you have. to you. You always smelled that marijuana, didn't yep, you? Yep, I did. <laughs> even though I never touched it, <laughs> I knew what it smelled like. Get, show me the face that you make when you go into a room and you smell it. Mm, my goodness. And I walk out. <laughs> I know what it is. <sighs> anyway, back that <sighs> night, you rushed out of the house to go outside. 
and me being the nosy mom, let me get the doggy. Come here, Mia. Come on. Go, come on, baby. Found that me dog in a multi-million dead. dollar neighborhood. <laughs> Just me roaming the streets. The, um, the nosy mother I am, I went slowly to the door and opened it to see who you were talking to. And I closed it because I did it real fast. But as I closed it, I realized I saw somebody else, but he was behind you. And I opened it again and I looked and I knew it. It was like my heart and my spiritual heart. I knew some, that someone behind you was not human. That's why I opened the door again to check and see what it was, who it was. And I, as I did and came back and closed it, I just started to talk to the Lord. So, to make a long story short, that second I knew it was a spirit. It was a demon, and he was after my son. All I knew, all I saw was a tall figure, silhouette of a seven or maybe taller man, and all I saw was the silhouette which shaped his hair into dreadlocks or snakes, I don't know, short and long and short and long, and all I could describe, all I could tell my husband about how he looked like was the terminate uh what's his name the predator predator because that was the my closest, favorite closest maybe it was a real predator to what i saw and you no know, i love the predator right and then i don't i don't, I don't want to talk about it but in that second i knew it was a demon after my son so from that day on i just started to pray i got him to tell me who he was talking to he goes i was out there with my friend mom and I said, how many, son? This is very important. Just one friend. That second I knew he didn't know the demon was behind him. So I had a lot of work ahead of and me. Definitely, I wasn't and definitely not with anyone that had dreads at the time. That's for sure. And it wasn't possible. I know exactly the day, and I remember who I was talking to, but it wasn't no one that was... Over seven feet tall with dreadlocks. That's what I was going to say. It was impossible that that man was human. It wasn't human. It was all black. All right, Mom. So you remember the night that those guys came to the house and I ended up stabbing the guy yes. a couple times? Yes. In fact. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, I came in the house, uh, washed the blade off of bleach, and I don't, I don't know if you remember, but I threw it in the neighbor's uh, pool. I do remember what size knife was because in how big was the knife it to us it was horrid it was uh like give me a, a description with your hand like a hunting knife and it was raggedy how how big you're not giving a I good description know, it's like like that big i'm telling y'all it was a it was, you know uh it was like a hunting uncle knife. oscar gave me that knife it was a knife from columbia did you know that oh gosh this wow. knife i'm telling y'all was at least eight inches long i put eight inches of steel in that guy's back three times and do you remember the pictures they showed in the courtroom it looked like he had intestines hanging out his yeah. back and I'll tell you all this right now stabbing was like stabbing butter you did I didn't even feel it go into his flesh it was absolutely insane now let me ask you one more thing uh, do you remember what happened soon after to my car yeah what happened to my car? Somebody blew it up. Somebody <laughs> set it on fire. Someone set my... Fr I'm in jail, okay, waiting. I'm in there for facing almost over 50 years in prison with abduction and all this other stuff. And these guys, these guys still blew up my car. How did that... How, were y'all home when that happened? I never asked y'all. I was, I was the only one home and a man had just closed his restaurant. He was still in his uh, chef uniform. He... No, he was a sailor. It was in white. And he knocked on my door and he said, your car is on fire. I didn't know what to do. I called Mike. Mike came over and he moved all our cars. Mike's my the, brother. Out of the uh, driveway because if yours continued to burn, it would have burned the other two cars. But Michael came with his friends and they all moved them. And that was that. But you know, let me go Did back. Did it blow up? I think so. What do you mean he thinks? Well, honey, it was nothing but 
but a shell, so it had to blow up. I just went inside and pray, pray, pray. Did it? What? Did, didn't it like uh, burn down that telephone pole in front of it? Yeah, and and he, whoever did it. Uh, 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 they also said that my decal. We had a track of fire marks all the way to through the ne next door neighbors. That's crazy. But those anyway, guys really came back for blood, well, didn't they? I don't know if it was those guys. Um, but I, I did have a lot of enemies. So but I don't let know. me go back to the stabbing. <laughs> if somebody comes to your home, into your driveway, and they're starting to to haunt you down, to beat you up, if you have a knife, of course you're gonna stab them to protect yourself. I never could understand that part. I know one thing: all these people involved are probably either in jail or they better ask forgiveness because they were on the wrong. If you go to somebody's home to try to hurt somebody, you should be le it should be legal for you to protect yourself. Absolutely, especially but, there's three of them. Yep, but I, I don't understand that. You're lucky I didn't have the gun on or else I'd probably still be in prison for murder. And you should have never gone to prison for that, but... That's um, the way it's rolled. Look, on another note, uh, this is another story I told them. Do you remember when uh, I called you from prison? I just got the hole, and you told me the story. Or you wrote me a letter first, I think, and you told me the story about uh, the wine bottle exploding. Oh, my gosh. What a... What a... <laughs> oh, you talking about the wine thing? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was wine then? I told you it was wine. No, it used to be wine, but he drank the wine and put coke in Yeah. It. And yeah. it exploded when he was locked up. Yeah. Scared the crap out of us. <laughs> <laughs> it did scare us to death. I'm saying, damn, Josh, you locked up, you still freaking us out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gringo. Go ahead and show face really quick. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is how they do it in Peru. Ole, ole, ole! <laughs> hey, mom, you know, my, my uh, audience member is called his dad, the gringo. I know. Yeah. Yeah. He's notorious now. He's well known. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, he's my gringo. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm his Latina. <laughs> All right, Mom. Bye, son. I might have to hire you to be my camera. <laughs> I'll be your camera woman. There you All go. Alright, Mama, I love you. I love you too, son. You take care. See ya. Well, there y'all have it, man. My mom is very religious, spiritual. She loves the Lord. So, if you ever see her in a video, man, you just know. You, you just gotta know. That she's going to bring the Lord into it. That's probably one of the things that really pushed me away from uh, believing in Jesus Christ and all that. In the very beginning is because she drilled it in my head non-stop. And sometimes I just, if I give any advice, I, I think it is to not drill a, a certain belief into your child's head. Tell them about it or her about it and leave it at that. You don't have to drill it into their head because that will definitely more than likely push them away but uh i hope you all enjoyed this quick little episode and don't forget uh check out my i don't have too many boards on etsy you know but i do custom surf art if y'all are interested in getting any kind of design done uh contact me there the link is in the description of the video and i'll get it done for y'all man till the next time